Hi families. Today we're going to be talking about counting and about hungry caterpillars. So you can see by our background, we're going to be talking about caterpillars today. This is an example of what caterpillar eggs look like when they're laid. And these are actually even bigger than what the real ones are. They're so tiny. And the caterpillars come out and they're very tiny like this, even smaller than this when they first come out. But they start eating the leaf. Can you see how there's a hole where that one's been eating and this one's been eating? They eat the leaves and they eat and eat and eat and eat until they get to be big like this. See how big this caterpillar is? And once they get big enough, then they make for themselves a cocoon or a chrysalis. I've heard it called both ways. Both cocoon and chrysalis start with the letter C. K -k makes the k, k sound, okay? So we're gonna talk about that in a minute. C for caterpillar, cocoon, and chrysalis. They're gonna live in here for a little while until they've made a change. And when they change, they come completely different. They turn into a beautiful butterfly. So that's how our, that's why the hungry caterpillar eats so much. It's because he wants to turn into a butterfly. So the first thing I want to have you do, parents, because we're going to start with the book. Okay, so make sure you grab the book out and this. Okay, so this is the hungry caterpillar. Inside, you're going to find a little packet like this that has fruit in it. I want you to lay all of the fruit out on the table for your child and make sure they know the name of each one of those fruits. Then, as you read the story, when you get to the part where the caterpillar is eating them, I want you to have your child look at the table and find that kind of fruit and how many there are. Then they're gonna feed the fruit. So let's say it was three plums, they're gonna find the plums on the table and they're gonna count and feed him one, two, three, okay? They're gonna do that with all of the fruit and they can play this over and over again. So let them do it and do it with the book and read to them and have them practice counting over and over again. Okay, when they're done with that and you're done with the story, we're gonna move on to this sheet and they're just going to put these things in order of when they happened in the story, okay? So they're gonna cut out the little squares. It'll look like this, okay? And they're gonna put them in order. Number one means what happened first. So they're gonna find the picture of what happened first and place it on top, okay? They can practice that over and over again too. Then we're gonna talk about, and I'm gonna explain this a little bit more when I talk about the parenting letter, but they're gonna talk about more or less. So they're going to count how many bananas, how many apples, which one is less. And the one that's less, that's the ones they're gonna color, okay? So we're talking about more and less. Then they're going to work on a finger, fine motor skill, holding their pencil correctly, and being able to draw a straight line or a curved line or whatever it is. And I didn't bring my pencil with me, so I'm gonna use this. Just make sure they've got correct pencil grip. Remember, you're gonna lay it in their hand and have them pinch. So they shouldn't be fisting anymore. They should be pinching it and making sure that they're holding it correctly while they work. Okay, the first one is a straight line and just have them make it all the way straight across. You know, they don't need to go dot by dot. It's a straight line, okay? Then we're gonna move on to curved lines, okay, squiggly lines. So they're gonna practice. They're gonna need to pull out their dry erase marker that's in their, their box. And then this is something they can practice over and over again as well, okay? Then we're on to the letter C. Remember, boys and girls, C stands for, makes the K sound, and K is for caterpillar, and the cocoon that they make, remember, we talked about cocoon or chrysalis, okay? C makes the K sound. So color the C and practice. Remember, you always start at the top of the letter 
and work your way down. C looks exactly the same, whether it's an uppercase or a lowercase. It's just a different size, but you still practice it the same way. Here is the math paper. So this one is really good because it talks about the importance of counting. Um, many children can count to 20 by the time they're going to kindergarten but that doesn't mean they necessarily understand the quantities of counting out 20. So we want them to learn how to count, what the numerals look like, and the quantity that goes with them. This gives you some very good ideas of how to work on that with them. And this also gives um, math words that you might not think are math words. So that's why we're gonna talk about more and less. Those are math words. Um, some others would be near and far, under, over, empty, full, and then the shapes, those are all math words. Next to, um, in front of, all of those, okay? So there's a good list of those on the back. So make sure you look at that and work on that. And that is our lesson. Be sure and call me if you need any help. Even if I'm not uh, around, I will always return your call. And make sure you put your sticker. Look, boys and girls, my sticker page is all full on the front. I just can't fit anymore. So I have started putting them on the back, okay? So make sure you do your sticker page and have fun with the lesson. Talk to you later. Bye.